Hi, my name is Clara Nellist. I am a particle physicist working on the ATLAS experiment, uh, which is based at CERN. Um, I'm usually based in the Netherlands, but due to the current situation, I am currently in the, the UK uh, working from my, my parents' home. Um, so first of all, please excuse the lighting. Uh, we've just got to work with what we have at the moment. Um, so part of my job is that uh, I have a lot of remote meetings. I work with people all over the world. So for me, actually connecting to a lot of online meetings is not is not unusual. Uh, but there are a lot of people right now who are having to, to do this for the, maybe the first time or the first time in a while. Um, so we're, we're all sharing tips and tricks to how to, to best work in the current situation. Uh, and one of the things is that people have been discovering in the platform Zoom uh, that you can add a virtual background. And uh, I was looking at some of the different uh, ways people had used this. Uh, one of them was by a guy called Danny who um, filmed a, a video of himself nodding and uh, agreeing and then looped it and then he could uh, add that as a virtual background and sneak out of the video. And I was, uh, I have this green screen and I was trying to, green screen, green scarf. And I was trying to find if there was a way that I could pin it up behind me so that the virtual background was uh, cleaner in the videos uh, during my meetings. And then I realized that maybe I could use it in a different way. So I, uh, and I'm gonna stick the video up here so you should be able to see it. Uh, I did a quick test of a video to see if I could make this green, green scarf into an invisibility cloak and it worked and it was fun and I put it on social media and quite a few people who have seen it have asked me how I did it so I thought I would make this quick video just to show how it's done in a zoom meeting now what you can see on my screen already is that I'm actually already in a zoom meeting so the first thing you need to do is take a screenshot of your background without you in it like this um, and then you take this background which is going to appear here in a moment and and we're going to go to tools and then flip it horizontally and you'll see why in a minute this is just a preference it's not always necessary but for me I like to have it so it looks like I'm looking into a mirror it's just more intuitive for me okay so you save that and then you go back into zoom and you click here for choose virtual background so then you want to you can see the ones that I have already and then you want to add an image and I will pick this one that we've just taken here now it's very important not to move the laptop while you're doing this because otherwise things will get out of sync and then the next thing you want to do is take your green scarf or block color and you can see that it's already zoom is already picking it up as a potential background and then while it's in the screen i click i have a green screen and you can see that instantly we now have an invisibility cloak so now you can uh, if you want to pop out of a meeting if i'm not tangled up in it you can just uh, throw it over yourself and away you go and if you want to recreate the uh, famous scene in Harry Potter, then you can also do that. And you can just have some fun with it. So I can also change virtual background. And so here's a video I took the other day of a waterfall. And now I can add that in where I want. So yeah, uh, things are really tough right now and uh, a lot of people, yeah, it's tough for a lot of people. Um, but I think also if we try to take care of each other and have a little bit of fun and um, yeah, just relieve some of the stress now and again, that we, yeah, we can get through this together. So I hope this was useful. If you have any more questions, let me know and I will see you around. Bye.